Hello everyone, welcome to First Aid Kids. Today I'll be showing you how to tie a hand cover bandage on our dear friend Chester. So, Chester, how's your hand feeling today? Oh, really pain. Really pain. Alright, can you please stand up, Chester? Alright. Can you place, it's your left hand, right? Yeah. Please place your left hand on the table like this in 90 degrees position. Now, I'm going to insert a bandage. Please lift your hand. Alright. And you see, Chester's hand is quite small. So, I'm going to make a fold in the bandage. And Chester, please place your hand in the middle of that fold. Okay. Alright. Now, this is the apex of the bandage. I'm going to pull it up and hold it over Chester's forearm. Chester, please put your finger there and hold it in position. Next, the two flaps, please cross them over. Go around. Chester, is it tight, Chester? Uh, yes. Tight and go around. Now, depending on the hand size, please make appropriate turns. So, for example, Chester's hand is quite small. So, I'm going to make a few turns just to secure the bandage in place. And now, I tie my reef knot. As you can see, left over right, right over left. That's a reef knot. Now, remember, in St. John, we always clean up our bandages. Why we clean up our bandages is to prevent the bandages from getting stuck on moving objects such as stretchers or vehicles which may pull the casualty along and we do not want further injury. So now we clean up our bandages and that is done. Chester, please lift your hand and show them. This is a hand cover bandage. That's how it's supposed to look. And do you feel secure, Chester? Yes. All right. Thank you very much. Hey guys, so in this video we actually didn't show it but you can actually use the exact same bandaging with your foot. So instead of putting your hand at a 90 degree angle like that, you can put your foot instead which is naturally at a 90 degree angle. So just replace your hand with your foot and you're all set. Then you have your foot cover bandage instead. Alright, thank you.